Hi, Emily. All right, we're gonna do your building box number one rundown. Um, first thing that I wanna do is kind of talk about your style quiz and what I took from it when um, picking your stuff. So, um, I noticed that you said that you already have good basics. So you already have, you know, the great tees and the great denim, um, but you did select that you wouldn't mind getting more. So um, I went through what you said about denim and I was so excited that you selected mom jean and boyfriend jean because I have a style that's both. It's a Rachel and it's a mom jean boyfriend style. So I think you're gonna love those. Um, you also said that your favorite thing to wear right now is basically jeans and a t-shirt, um, which you're a girl after my own heart because that's what I love to wear too. Um, so I picked some, just a sweater that you can add on to that outfit that you're already wearing all the time. Um, you also said that you are so ready for some cozy sweaters. So that's another reason that I did a cardigan um, because I figure a cardigan is a great building block having a great just basic sweater in your closet is a great idea too but it's not going to be that staple building item that like an open over piece is going to be like this cardigan okay um another thing is i think that's all i think i covered um what's on your quiz so um that's some of the reasons that i picked what i did so let's do your actual rundown here is your boyfriend Jean that we just talked about. Um, I love that there's just a hint of distressing, but it's nothing crazy. You're not gonna stick your toes through the holes and like make big giant knees. Um, I think we've all been there. I love that they're kind of a higher rise. I love that they have this little roll at the bottom. This is kind of what gives them that boyfriend feel. If you wanted to um, wear them one day with um, like a sneaker and roll them up and then roll them, the neck, roll them down the next day and wear them with a booty, that's one way that you can you get some versatility out of them, okay? But they're gonna look great rolled up with a booty too. Um, so I gave you this cardigan to go with these jeans and then any of your basic tees, okay? So I pulled these basic tees just so you can get an idea of how many different outfits you can make with just these two pieces. So you can do the gray, the white, the black, and then you could even do like a printed neutral tee is gonna look great with this outfit. So um, throw, let's just do the white cause white's easy. I love a good white tee. Um, so this front tucked into the boyfriend jeans looks great. And then if you want, if you're wearing this like on a casual uh, lunch date or like a Saturday throw this with a sneaker and it'll look really cool if you need to wear this to work or somewhere where you have to be just a little bit more dressed up then wear a booty and throw in some like blingy jewelry or like some pretty um, kind of some dressier jewelry okay um, this outfit with a sneaker and a baseball cap would be super casually cute too and then I gave you these earrings to finish the look so you could wear these earrings they're super neutral so they would go with any of these looks they're gonna look really great with like a print black and white or a white because they're just gonna kind of complete your look by matching um, the color okay um, the I love this card again it's super soft uh, and then if you look really close at it there's just like a touch of like a black tone to it which makes it kind of a heathered. Um, I just like that it adds a little element of interest to your look. Okay, so I do wanna show you how to front tuck properly. I'm wearing leggings today, so it's gonna look a little weird, but you'll get the idea. So the first step is you're going to take the hem of your shirt, you're gonna pull it out, twist it. Okay, so you're just making a little twisted little knot thing. And then you're gonna take it and tuck it into your pant line up at the top. If and then you're gonna pull it out just a touch, blouse it, and then you're gonna take the corners over here and like turn it under, okay? And then you're just gonna kind of like wiggle it out and it's gonna fall to exactly where you want it to be. Uh, the front tuck or the twist keeps it tucked in so you're not gonna constantly have to keep retucking. And then um, the actual front tuck does a couple things, especially when you wear um, an over layer, it's going to give you a waist, okay? so. Um, 
it takes your legs from looking like they're this long to bring it up and making them look like this long. Okay, so it elongates your legs. It also brings in your waist, like we said, it gives you a waist, and then it also gives this blousing to cover up whatever you want hidden here. Okay, so um, it's just a great kind of tip to have in your back pocket. Uh, I generally do a front tuck every day unless I'm wearing leggings and I want something longer to cover me. Okay, bye. Let me, oh, let me know if you have questions. I'd love to help.